everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theater for our main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw, it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. All right, let's go. The opening bell of this scheduled 12-rounder here. A much-anticipated fight. Round one underway. <laughs> Little head knocking with that right hand. Way through round number one. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the oh, body no. snatcher. Locks that belt line well. The body snatcher's on the receiving end of a hook. Fine looking right hand by Big Train. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Locks it away. End of the round. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. He just didn't throw enough, Teddy. I mean, you got to go out there and put something forth if you want to win the round. Hey, sometimes it's complicated. Sometimes it's pretty simple. You don't throw punches, you don't win fights. Take your time out there. Toma su tiempo. Take your time. Keep the pressure up, but don't follow him. Cut the ring off, all right? Set up the power shot. It's there for you when he moves in. Keep on. Here we go, round two is underway. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. The body snatcher's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Great movement to get away from those punches. He scores with the jab there. You know, Joe, a lot of times you think about a jab being used by an outside guy, but to get inside, you need a cover. And there, right there, was the cover. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Halfway through this round here. Very accurate with the overhand right. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. If that 
keeps up. This is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Big Train. Snatchers just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. There's another left hand from him. And we come to the end of round number two. That's Big train I mean, effort in that last right round there. really didn't do much for him. I just don't think he was busy enough. No, he wasn't busy enough. And you start to wonder whether or not he wants to be here. It has to change quickly now because if it doesn't, his opponent is going to kind of smell it a little bit. And he's going to start pushing a little bit more and put him in bad problems. Go out there and get it. Go out and fight this guy. You understand what I'm saying? Take it to this guy. You have to go and get this man. Okay, listen. You can throw him off the spot. And round number three is underway. Back to the body. Back to the body. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Oh, what a whiff by Big Train. Big Train's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Finish him off. Yeah, finish him off. Now he's boxing in his man a bit there. He's got him trapped in the corner. Blocks that punch. Big Train's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Come on, punch. Good job punch, snapping punch, out that jab. It. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. Showing you some defense there with the block. Last 10 seconds. Oh, don't let him get at you. All right, listen, 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 all right? Stop waiting on him. You're waiting on him. Don't wait on this kid. Put your jab in his face and keep it there. Keep it pumping. Keep it pumping at all times. Okay, listen. He's going to come forward this round. Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from it, all right? The body snatchers out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight. But they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Good right hand by Big Train. Right to the belt line. Good step back counter punch there. That's a well scored left hand by Big Train. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Left and right. Big Train's Left making me right. wonder on, if his baby. legs are really underneath him. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but the nonstop clinching, it's revealing a lot. Yeah, it is revealing a lot. He's not right. He's hurt a little bit, but he could turn it around for an opportunity for himself because he could grab inside and then let go and then all of a sudden sneak. Bang, 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 and then grab again. He can find the little opportunity if he can think about that. And now just wasting everybody's time holding Pace on. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. You're doing this. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. Just to the head he goes with a left hand. 
Puts forth the hook, scores with it. Now he ties up there. Work the bot. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Right hand downstairs. The body snatchers left now getting into the mix. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Good clean yeah, like shot returning see. fire. Well done by the body snatcher. And this round comes to an end. Big Train's pure aggression got to his opponent in that last round. He looks fresh, his opponent doesn't. We need to get excited. We're doing fine. You need to take it to this guy. Make it a dog fight. Finish. Close the gap and let the hands go. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Right now. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Solid left hand to the head. Uppercut. Uppercut is wide dance. open. Uppercut, body, baby. Come on. on. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus for me. Watch the hook. Watch the hook. Come on. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym, and you love when you see it executed. right hand by the body snatcher stay with him now stay with him and you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there and here he goes again with the clinching man that's it baby good job good, good defense job. just covering up down low coming to the end of round number five last 10 seconds Big Train's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. All right, Teddy, let me put you back in your old job here. You're going to be trainer here now. We're just coming off of a round there. We're clearly, I think he won the round, but it's a close competitive fight that your guys probably win. Yeah, I know what not to tell him. I'm not telling him he's winning. That's what I'm not telling him. I want to make sure that he keeps his edge. You know, he stays smart and everything, but the only reason that I think he's up is because he's keeping the punch output. He's staying sharp defensively. You know, he's still attacking in the spots that he should attack. I want to keep it that way. Keep them up. Big Train's opponent is not seeing the damaged goods he was opposite of in the last round. This is a different fighter starting this round right here. A knifing left hand by Big Train. Hook, hook, he wide open for the hook. Focusing. 
the body snatcher is doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively, they use the jab, they use aggression to set up the offense, but he uses defense to set up the offense. He, he has a double-edged sword. Come on, punch, 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 that's it. Oh, what a power punch by Big Train. Focus, focus. The body snatcher's well off the mark that time. Left and right, left and right. Come on, baby. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Teddy, what advice would you be giving to this charge if you were training him, knowing he's coming off of a good solid effort in that last round and likely is up in a close fight? Well, you know, sometimes I'm not sure what to tell a guy but I know what not to tell him. I wouldn't tell him he's up. I wouldn't tell him to let up. That's one thing for sure. I tell him, keep doing the same things you're doing. Stay right with it. I need you to keep working that body, all right? Now, when his hands drop, uppercut, hook, okay? Hook to the butt. Here we are, the start of another round, and if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely will, but maybe he'll change the script a little, flip the script a bit. Punch, punch. Nice work, nice work. Could this be the start of a big comeback? He went from owning this fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah, you can come back just like that. One punch at the right time. That was at the right time. That's really frustrating his that's opponent now. The body snatcher is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now. If you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's gonna leave an opening. At the halfway point of round seven. Engages in the clinch. Come on, keep focus. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. And that's the end of round seven. away from that power. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep it up. Keep it up. That's it now. Nice work out there. Keep fighting smart and keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy. You won that round, all right? You won that. I'm always interested in how a fighter's disposition can change during the course of a fight. And as we start round number eight here, you see that he is up. But all it takes is a little momentum to build against him, and this thing could turn around. Well, the real testing of a fighter, the real testing of a professional is what they can do late. Can they keep it up, or do they become satisfied? We're going to find out right now how this guy is in those areas. Body 
body snatcher is just not showing me enough offense right now. Is he, I mean, I understand he did get hurt earlier. Yeah, he did. But he still has to put something for it. Yeah, he does. It's kind of like that kid who gets his hand caught in a cookie jar. You know, <laughs> you're not going to give up eating cookies. You still have a sweet tooth. You want to still go back and get that snack. You better find another way. He needs to find another way. Good job, boy. Good job. Ninety seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Oh, he goes to the gut with the right hand. The body snatcher's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Uppercut! Uppercut is wide open! Uppercut, baby! Come on! Turns over that hook upstairs. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus for me. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Keep moving your head. Come on, keep moving. And round eight comes to an end. You gotta pick it up. Big trains trailing in this fight. I don't think there's any doubt about that. But not by a wide enough margin where he can't accomplish the task at hand. His corner's letting him know that. You can just tell. I want another round exactly like this. This is your... Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. A sharp jab by Big Train. Big Train's got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not being effective at all. No, he's not. He's not landing. And that's bad for it's the right. scorecards, but Keep as moving. he continues doing this, it's going to be bad for his chin because he's going to start now getting counted. As time goes by, the more he misses, now his opponent's going to start doing the other part. He's going to come back and take advantage of those misses. Ninety seconds into the ninth round. Uppercut, uppercut, yeah. Hey, keep your feet moving. Big trains making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Cut. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. That was not well targeted by Big Train. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Deep breath. Relax. Let's finish this fight and go home, okay? Let's knock this guy out. Body, then head. Body, head. Finish with a hook to the head. Listen. 
Back to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Relax, come on now, relax. Deep breath. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. The body snatcher's given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponent's cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot, and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you time him with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. Big trains coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Come on, punch. Go, go. Focus, focus. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Ten clicks of the talk. And round ten comes to an end. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Keep throwing punches. That was good. You took a lot out of him that round. Keep that up. You just can't move around. You gotta move with your hands in there. Let them things go. There you go. Keep your hands up, all right? Keep your guard up. You have to keep your hands up. Big trains proving that this is a tale of two fights as we start round number 11. Teddy, you have this fight even, but he's the fighter with all the momentum. Yeah, he's come on. Now, there's two questions here to me. It says he just keep going and just flow right past him because he's got everything going for him, or has he used up too much? It's going to be interesting to see. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Right to the body. Downstairs with a right hand. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. A good block. Big Train's able to land a nice clean left hand. the headshot. He is not in good shape. He could be on the... Oh, a big shot comes home for him. A huge shot rains down, and he's on the floor. And he has a decision to make, a choice to make right now. One, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. You got this one. Oh, what a harsh jab that time by Big Train. Okay, listen. He's going to come forward this round. Keep that jab moving. 
keep him away from me, all right? I need you Here to you go. That's the best. Listen, don't let him steal this one, okay? Keep him away. Keep him throwing the jab. Keep him away from you, okay? Given a lot tonight. Now one more opportunity to give a little more. The final round is upon us. Right now, more punches, baby. Punches and bunches. Let's see. There you go. There you go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Unable to make an impact there by Big Train. Uppercut. Uppercut. It's wide open. Uppercut, baby. Come on. Gets rid of that effort. Hey, get out of there. You got to see that coming, champ. Let's go. You got to see that. <laughs> Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Big Train. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shotted. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You're jabbing at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. Good looking jab there. Finish with the big hook, baby. Targeting a left okay. hand down low. Oh! What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. The question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Final bell of what is going to be a very tough fight to score. I mean, you could make a case in every round for both guys. That is all you need to know how difficult this decision will be. This was a sure and steady effort by Big Train tonight, and it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't think it was ever a question of who was going to win. It was how. Was it going to be knockout or unanimous decision? We got it the right way. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.